how to lower your cholesterol, and why it's so important. Attention! It's not just an old people problem. What is cholesterol and how is it measured? A great place to start, if ever there was one. Everyone has cholesterol, a fat found in the blood, in their body. It's used to build cell walls, to make hormones, and to produce fat-soluble vitamins and bile acids, which are used to help digest food, explains Dr. Brain. Measuring cholesterol levels is a fairly straightforward process, involving a blood sample. Sometimes this could even be a finger prick blood test. Total cholesterol is made up of two parts, HDL cholesterol, the good kind. Higher levels of this actually reduce the risk of heart diseases, and non-HDL cholesterol, the bad kind, associated with health problems. Non-HDL cholesterol is bad because it clogs up arteries, whereas HDL cholesterol helps to clear them. Bonus info, triglycerides, another form of fat, also associated with an increased risk of heart disease and strokes may also be measured as part of a cholesterol screening too. Drinking a lot of alcohol or eating lots of starchy foods and saturated fats contribute to high triglyceride levels. Polycystic ovary disease, diabetes, thyroid disease, obesity and kidney disease are all associated with abnormal triglyceride levels and increased risk of health complications. Why is high cholesterol bad? Basically, those with higher levels of non-HDL cholesterol have an increased risk of having a heart attack, stroke and or other health problems. Cholesterol levels are dependent on a combination of genetics and lifestyle factors, such as being overweight, eating a poor diet and lack of exercise, explains Dr. Brain. Other people inherit genes which cause them to make too much cholesterol. Why do women get high cholesterol during pregnancy? Cholesterol levels are elevated in pregnancy because it's used to make new cells for the baby, as well as helping with the influx of preggy hormones. Levels can rise somewhere between 25 and 50 percent, however it's the good cholesterol which rises the most says Dr. Brain, who also advises that levels generally return to normal around a month after birth. It's rare for high cholesterol in pregnancy to require treatment. In general, women have higher levels of HDL, or good, cholesterol than men, because their bodies contain more of the female hormone, oestrogen. This changes when women reach the menopause, HDL levels fall, total cholesterol and non-HDL cholesterol levels start to rise, and the risk of cardiac disease also increases. Cherry stuff. Sorry. Do young people need to worry about lowering their cholesterol? Maybe. It all depends on whether or not you have a family history of heart disease or high cholesterol, in which case you might be offered cholesterol testing, especially if you smoke or have diabetes heart problems or high blood pressure. People with high levels may receive lifestyle advice from their GP, for example to quit smoking, or to adjust their diet to include lots of fruit, vegetables, whole grains, fiber and healthy fats, says Dr. Brain. More frequent testing may also be offered. High cholesterol is managed with a combination of lifestyle modifications and if necessary, medication. If you have any concerns, Book in with your doctor to chat them through. What should you eat to lower cholesterol? First up, let's go through what you should be avoiding if you're on a mission to reduce your cholesterol levels. Brace yourself, red meat, butter, fried foods, cheese and saturated fats are all a big thumbs down. So definitely no bacon and cheddar toasted sandwiches. Instead your diet should include fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, high fiber foods, such as oats and beans. Oats are especially good as they contain a protein called beta-glucan, which is effective at binding cholesterol in the gut and allowing it to pass out of the body. Good fats, such as those found in olive oil, nuts and fatty fish like mackerel, trout or salmon. Nuts, because they're a valuable source of fat-soluble vitamins, platinols and sterols, which also bind bad cholesterol. What else can you do to lower cholesterol? Sounds obvious, but itching the fangs, 
losing weight and increasing your activity levels to around 30 minutes of exercise for 5 days a week, are all factors shown to reduce non-HDL cholesterol. Weight loss doesn't have to be extreme, a 10% reduction is effective, particularly if the weight is concentrated around the tummy, notes Dr. Bream. Reducing alcohol intake is effective in helping weight loss and reducing high triglyceride levels too. If you're found to be especially at risk of heart disease, vascular disease, high blood pressure or diabetes, a medication called a statin may be prescribed for you. It's likely your doctor will request further blood tests to check your levels improve once you're on it too.